Y'all. Don't bake your pesto. Do not cook your pesto. Don't do it. Please. Grated parm. I'm gonna throw in about two cups. This is so frustrating. Hi y'all, welcome to Flambe. My name is Yanni, and today we're gonna be making TikTok's viral pesto eggs, but way better. TikTok is a place I can spend literally hours doing absolutely nothing. Do I enjoy it? Yes. Do I think you should be getting all of your recipes from it? No. <laughs> I have a really big issue with this recipe because you're supposed to cook your pesto apparently. You cook your pesto and use it instead of oil and then you fry your eggs in that. That is absolutely bonkers to me. And please understand, I am not, I'm not a traditionalist. The best thing about pesto is it's super vibrant green color, the freshness of the basil, these are things that completely disappear when you cook your pesto. <laughs> That's why I've taken it upon myself to make pesto eggs, doing things the right way where you're treating these ingredients with the respect that they deserve. Dears, if you haven't already, please go down and roast that like button, bake it, broil it, sear or fry it, roast that like button for the YouTube algorithm tells me, yes, I like your content, here's a thumbs up, please keep making some more. If you have not already, go and destroy that subscribe button. Let's get on with the recipe. What was that? What did I just vomit out of my mouth? <laughs> what? Come on, this has to be a joke. Hold on, where's the basil? What? Where's the basil? Didn't I? I went to the store yesterday and I'm... No, 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 no! <laughs> no! Come on! All right, can we cut? I need to go to the grocery store. I'll be back real quick. Like what? <laughs> what? What? How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? I don't understand. <sighs> There's an easy solution to this. We just, I just go to the grocery store. I get some and I'm back in, in a jiffy. Okay. All right, we're done. Cut, see you in a sec. This is so frustrating. Hi y'all, welcome back to my show titled, I don't have time for this shit. First step, get the food processor. I was originally going to make pesto from scratch, mortar and pestle, but don't have time for it. So I'm gonna throw it in the food processor. It's gonna be just as good. It's gonna be delicious and so quick. All right, first of all, let's start. This is a mess. This is like the inside of my brain. We're gonna start with this block of parm. The recipe calls for freshly grated parm. I'm not doing that. I'm going to throw this in the food processor and it's going to create freshly grated parm for me. I'm just gonna chop it into slices. This is stuff that has been aged for two years a little more on the expensive side, but hey, if you got it, flaunt it. <laughs> Just kidding, this is half my paycheck. Pop a cap on there. Let's turn this into snow. And just like that, we have freshly grated parm. Look at that, so easy. Where are the pine nuts? Where are the pine nuts? Where did I put those? I literally, I got them yesterday. Oh, here they are. I have no chill today. I have no chill. So to make pesto. <laughs> to make pesto, you've got your half a cup. Maybe it's really a cup of, of uh, grated parm. I'm gonna throw in about two cups of fresh basil, like two and a half tablespoons of pine nuts and like half a cup of uh, olive oil. And then we get this beautiful, beautiful green pesto. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. I forgot the garlic. Oh, I forgot the garlic. I'm gonna clean these up. I am going to pop them. One, two, three cloves of garlic into the blender. Let's keep it going for a little bit longer. Eek. I will never recover from this. 
<laughs> Whoa, that was easy. Super simple to open. It took no time. Okay, let's taste it. <laughs> let's taste the pesto. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Woo! Good. All right, Huns, next order of business. We're going to chop it up and use half of it. So leeks, they can be filthy inside. So open up each layer, rinse them, and then chop them. And then I will roll it up. I will put it back together and then chop. Go through and chop um, rings. These are gonna be about a quarter inch thickness or whatever suits you, it doesn't matter. The green tops, you don't eat these. They are not fun, they're super chewy, very bitter. I would just go ahead and throw them out. If you're like, oh, I wanna do something with them, I wanna reuse them, you can throw them in your chicken stock or in any other stock, vegetable stock, beef stock, whatever. This adds like a nice earthy flavor to it. And that's it, we're done. Let's head over to the stove. Okay. So, toss in a little bit of olive oil into your pan. And then if you want, you can also throw in like half a tablespoon of butter. Olive oil is great. Um, I do want a little, you know, I want that buttery flavor in here. Now I'm going to throw in my leeks. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. I just wanted these to like, as soon as they hit the pan. Don't need that anymore. Now, a little bit of salt. Mix that in. Let's pop the cap on. I want those leeks to get super hydrated, stay super moist in there, but I do want them to like break apart and get a little more delicate and soft. Leave it on here for 10 minutes. Go take a little break. I'll see you in a sec. All right, let's take a peek and see. Nice and steamy. Oof, oof. At this point, I will set some of this aside and reserve it for garnishing. Take it off of the stove and set it aside. We will come back to this. Arky darky artichoke, um, just two eggs, a splash of water, whoop, and then whisk. A dash of salt, that's it. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Get a nonstick skillet. Turn that heat on, and then we're going to add like two tablespoons of butter, maybe three if you're feeling bad today. Now I'm going to toss my egg mixture in. Remember, this is on low heat. And so, so important, keep this on low heat. You want to keep stirring. We want to minimize any curds forming. If you do see some stuff forming, just mash it, get rid of it. Take it off the flame, keep mixing. Put it back on the flame, keep mixing. Never stop mixing. We are doing okay here. It's still a little bit creamy. We're going to add in now half of these leeks and this disappears right into the eggs. And lastly, a little Swiss cheese. Just one slice, that's all you need. Really, you don't need to go crazy here. I wanted a cheese here that has a nice pull to it. That way when it dissolves, immediately blends in. It does not mess with the texture of the dish. A little more salt. <laughs> And lastly, black pepper. The eggs are cooked through, but we've cooked them so slow and so low that they've maintained this beautiful, delicate texture with teeny, teeny, tiny curds. Alrighty, gorgeous, set this aside. Last little bit, I have got an English muffin. I am tearing apart right now. Don't cut them. Tear them, that way you get all these nooks and crannies for the cream to fall into. Okay, it is assembly time. Quick and easy, not a big deal, okay? So, so, so chill. Just one little piece of ham, make those ruffles. We want those eggs to delicately fall in between them. Now we add back the leeks, which we reserved earlier. I always like to garnish with the things that I made the dish with. I think it's a much smarter way of doing it. And now we're gonna add a touch, a touch of our pesto. And there you have it. This is <laughs> green eggs and ham. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> what? I mean, it is, but what? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, and I shan't forget. A little flaky salt to top it off. It wouldn't be a meal without it. Gorgeous. Let's have a little bite. Let's see what we think. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. This, this may be one of my favorite breakfasts. I made this for my mom on Mother's Day because for me it's like, it's a go-to. Pesto and eggs on any vehicle. It's just incredible. The pesto has that like slap of salt, the freshness of the basil, the eggs are delicate and creamy. And then the leeks, it provides like poof, the depth, the bottom of this dish. It's like boom, 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 hitting so many notes, checking all the boxes. Try it at home. Don't bake your pesto. Do not cook your pesto. Don't do it. You will get so much more flavor from keeping it fresh, okay? Keep it fresh, y'all. Keep it fresh. That is my tip of the day. Ahem. My love. If you have not already, go down and roast that like button, set it ablaze, hit subscribe, tap on that notification bell. <laughs> As always, my name is Yanni and thank you for watching Flambe.